Are we wearing the same shirt? Yeah, I think so. We're getting started with day four of harvest. Yeah, and after today, we're gonna have 42 acres of soybeans done on ten day four. Ten acres a day. Ten acres a day. It's the last day of bean harvest. It's sad. Can you tell me how close I am? Get to your left a little more if you can. Cricket, hard to your left a bit, I think. It's tough to tell from my view. Keep going. Stop, right there. You're pretty close. We've got about two acres in like a back corner. Luckily, I can just jump on the road, kind of go around to that little patch. And then, I don't know, I probably got maybe an acre over here. Let's roll. Spence is gonna head up there and see if we can't cut through the, uh, cut through there. Otherwise, we're gonna have to cut through the field to get back there. You might just cut a few branches, that's about it. Okay, we could easily just cut through the field, too. Is that a grass crossing good that you know of 100%? Yeah, it's not too bad, I don't think. Come through here, it's good to know if it works, we can always back up. Then four. I gotta be real careful and I probably shouldn't be on the camera because there, I've seen a bunch of rocks through here already. I don't know what it is about this, but this, uh, maybe it's just me, but these beans, from my perception, perception on the manual yield monitor back there, seem to be doing a lot better than any of the other beans I really harvested. We still got a lot left to go here. I think this is a two acre patch and I'm surprised by how much is there yet. That's gonna do it for this little two acres and then now we're gonna head back to the other two acres. The last beans, there's a couple of leaves and green stuff. We're just, uh, we're gonna send it in and kind of blend them off a little bit. I just got here, the sun is a little lower than I thought it would have been. It's 622, the elevator closes at seven. It's not the end of the world. And I think we'll probably end up doing is just keeping this. We probably won't have time to unload. We, we might, but we might not have time and we'll just keep, it's not a super heavy load, so it won't be too much weight on the concrete. I don't know if that really matters, but. Grant just finished up the end rows. I think he's done. He's coming to unload. And that is it for Bean Harvest 2021. I only did 45 acres or 42 or 45, something like that, 43. But man, that was fun. It took us like three days or something like that too. I enjoyed it though. I enjoyed every bit. Even though the yield wasn't that good, it was still awesome. Since we'd have to make another trip, I think what we're gonna do is put the bean header on the trailer and then hook that behind the wagon. <laughs> we'll see if that works. We'll just, and then we'll pull around at the farm and drop it off quick and then head to the elevator. We're gonna have to go real slow anyway, so why not kill two birds with one stone, I guess. Okay, now probably get over as far left as possible. Come on, baby. I think we're gonna clear ours. Oh, yep, we're gonna be good. <laughs> that was close, we're gonna be good. Go ahead and pull through. Dad beat us here. When he pulled around, when he pulled that out of the shed, he didn't know the header was even on the cart behind it. <laughs> I think he was gonna go the grain elevator. We still got some beans yeah, in there. I think he was too. <laughs> he was gonna pull that thing in on yeah. the scale and oh shoot, I got a header behind me. So it's the next day and uh, dad beat us to the shed. Me and Spence went to John Deere Northern Tool. 
got some big wrenches which is gonna be nice and I have a toolbox in there so we're kind of getting things organized it's like a mid harvest break right now trying to get the corn head all set up so we got to run through that make sure everything's good get the combine set up uh, and I got the fan speed on the combine isn't adjusting uh, so it's set so I think it's something with I looked it up it's something with the actuator so we're gonna work on that today a little bit too the whole headliner in this cab starting to come out starting to come out of these I can just put it back in and luckily but the headliner's in perfect condition. I don't really want to replace it. So I think what I'm going to do is put it back and then we'll get some pins. Put a couple pins in the corners here that'll help it hold. We're going to go run this load into town quick, which isn't far. Uh, this is just some of the beans we had left over. When we were taking them back two nights ago, it was, uh, it was just too late. The elevator was closing, so we just tossed them in the shed. co-ops open today I think they should be I think they are okay here's what I got I got the past couple of days we held in 1563 1563 bushels plus I hold in today just 195 was on there so the stuff I combined I combined like three acres that was that was some good yielding stuff the stuff I combined at the end there um, so 1758 is our total bushels. So we'll go 1758. I think on the monitor I planted 42 and a half bushels. Or sorry, 42 and a half acres. Um, it wasn't much. I thought there was gonna be a little more acres. So our yield was our yield was 41.3 bushels to the acre, which I was expecting a little more. Keep in mind, it is a little more poor quality farm. Like I said, that farm was kind of a cheap farm. Uh, there's a lot of end rows, stuff like that, but it's fine for this year. Hopefully we can improve next year because all I did this year was just plant the crop. Everything else was hired out as far as like spraying, stuff like that. So we'll find ways to improve for sure. What does that look like in there? It's one just, Is it just uh Accelerator to high speed so that it really We're watching some Carl Dodge YouTube to uh, learn how to switch the uh, combine over to corn and beans. I want to watch this. I've seen this. I want to watch it again to make sure I get everything switched over uh, just right and I don't miss anything. Thanks, Carl, for making the video. So, so down. There you go. They're out of the way. Now just tighten it up. Right now we're in second gear for our cylinder speed or rotor speed. And we're gonna put it to we're gonna put it to first. That way it'll slow it down for corn. So second. Skip neutral. There's second. Let's see if I can get neutral. So that's neutral right there. First. There we go, first gear. And then once I get to the cab, I'll fine tune the rotor speed because I can adjust that in cab. Something's wrong on my fan speed side. This actuator is probably not gonna work. I don't know if it works. It won't work up in the cab when I run the fan speed and try to adjust this fan speed. So I'm trying to figure this out. I loose, backed off all these bolts here. So that way this can move freely, I would guess. And uh, I'm gonna try and run the, fire it up, run the fan speed and try to make some adjustments to it. We're gonna see if it works. If it doesn't, maybe the gear's locked up or maybe the motor's just bad. I'm hoping the motor's bad because that's an easy, easy fix right there. And pop this out and run a deer and switch it out. What was happening? We had some hydraulic oil level leaking and for some reason that thing, the head must have, or the hydraulic oil must have been overfilled or something. It was coming out the top side of the cap here. So you think that's how it works? I'm thinking so. Uh, do you want a funnel? I got that down there. Oh! Here, 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 here. You ready? Right. Yeah. And then I lost where the cap was. We're gonna find it. I got it, the cap right here. Uh -huh. Otherwise I would've shut it down a little quicker. Get a bunch of towels. Okay. Uh, I got a funnel. We're gonna run a funnel to it. Oh, there it is. Where you at? Get us stuff. We gotta clean up this huge mess. Can we get uh, maybe some brake cleaner once we're got most of it off? Woo! After that, 
clean up, clean up that hydraulic oil fiasco. We're gonna crank her up and see if we can't adjust the fan speed here. I wanna let her warm up a bit though. Just make sure you're back away from it. Roger that. If the fender starts jumping, then I got too close. It's going. Tell me if it's moving. I'm at almost 1100 right now. Well, it looks like we got the fan speed to move, which is surprising. No, I'm just gonna run it. I'm just gonna run it uh, back up to 1200. Keep it at 1200. Okay. We're pushing the fan speed to 1200 because that's what it's supposed to be at for corn, um, roughly estimate. And I actually got it to work this time, so we're just making sure that it's actually adjusting down there, like it says it is on the monitor. Okay, I'm at 1200. I'm gonna make a couple other changes here while we're while we're at it. Uh, cylinder speed 350. Okay, uh, chaffer and sieve are already done. Feeder accelerator, yep, slow. Blah 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 blah. There we go. We should be good. Okay, we should have everything set. We're gonna get uh, hook it up to the cornet back there, and then check out the cornet. We got the head hooked up. We're gonna run it here. Um, we're gonna try it. So right now our head speed set at 480. I'm gonna set it at uh, I'm gonna set it at like 700. I should be able to control it from here now. Okay, that was 600. We'll leave it at there. I'm gonna go real slow at the start, so we'll leave it at 600. Gosh, that's nice how you control it on the go. I want to see if I can control the deck plates too. I should be able to in here. Yep, they're opening right there. If you can see right between the corn head, right by the gathering chain, those deck plates, I'll open them all the way here. There they go. We're actually gonna pick some corn. Uh, we just were like, okay, well the head's actually pretty decent as far as like, we greased everything, um, greased everything and lubed all the chains. Uh, Chain tension is pretty similar across there. It feels good. I don't know the proper, proper, perfect, perfect tension, but all of them look and feel pretty darn good through there. Got that again. Go, let's go. Okay, here we go. Go to him. And should have everything set. Green elevator closed. Rock trap closed. Hold out, hold out. Tell us if anything goes wrong, we're, uh, we're gonna go. This stuff is gonna be great. Oh, there's beans in here still. 15.4. Is that good? Yeah. What do we want? Uh, that It's low, it's low. We want, uh, I think 15 is market price or 15.5. I think it's 15%. I'll test it again. I think it's 15% is market price. I wanna see how much corn we're blowing out the back. Uh, we're trying to run the corn head as low as possible because there's just a lot of uh, a lot of down corn. And yeah, you do not want to see that. Our tank's clean. Just a little too clean, a little scary. So we're gonna open up uh, the chaffer 
a little more here and then uh, we're gonna wait for more dirt and a bad sample to come through before we tighten up that chaffer just to make sure we're not throwing too much out the back because there is a good amount coming out the back we need it to be we want it to be squeezing that stock almost that's gonna be a medium sized stock though that's a medium size yeah the find biggest the biggest. one i could find was right there Okay, we got 533 bushels out of that. It was 15.8 moisture. So what I'm gonna do is I don't have a yield monitor, but I really, really wanna know what the yield is. So I'm gonna go to the four corners of this plot and just map on my phone. It's on X hunt. I'm sure you hunters have heard of it. And basically you can just map out where you are. It's pretty dang accurate. Area shape. So we wanna drop a point. Perfect. We're gonna go down. Next point, roughly right there. Drop point, create a line, 108 yards. Next point. I'm running that corn head probably almost as low as possible, essentially. So it's cutting it low. That corn, we're bringing in a lot of material and stuff, but when this corn's like down like this, I guess that's kind of what you have to do, I feel like. Drop point, 2.51 acres, roughly. There's a lot of down corn through there, so 2.51 acres. So, what did I say, 533, 533. It was a little higher, but we had a moisture dock. Divided by 2.5. 213? Wow. That's not bad through here. That is not bad. That's pretty good. Awesome. Okay, I'm kind of pumped. Cause I thought, especially with this down stuff through here, like it's gonna be bad when I was combining it. Cause like there's some spots where I'm missing. I hate to see that. I almost wanna go pick all those up and uh, toss them in. There was a lot of down corn through there. So I think we'll hit some better spots in the field where hopefully we can even get a better yield. So that's, that's good to see at least. That's good to see. I, I thought maybe it'd be below 200 through here. What do you think Spence? Corn harvest. It'd be fun to do a full day, see what we can get done, you know, kind of that stuff. Run full throttle. Yeah. Oh yeah. So we got two and a half acres done today, which felt like a lot, felt like a ton, but Sunday can't go, elevators closed. Technically I could fill the wagons, but Monday sensor, uh, moisture sensor is gonna go in there, yield monitor, let's see, moisture sensor, and then I forgot the term, the beater plate that actually feels the amount of pressure of corn going against it, that actually counts yield is going in there on Monday too. So we're gonna install that with the AMS guy. And then after that, we're just gonna calibrate it and get rolling on corn. So seriously guys, thanks for watching this one though. And uh, there'll be a lot more corn harvest videos coming up. Thanks guys.